Hey everyone, if you want to make your own podcast but you don't know where to begin, Spotify for Podcasters makes it super easy. They've got everything in one place, it's totally free, and you can make money while doing it. Here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer, so no matter what your setup is like, you can start doing it today. Then you can distribute your podcast to Spotify and pretty much everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also supported, and you can even conduct polls and Q&As. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. And best of all, the platform is totally free. No catch, totally free. When I wanted to start my own podcast, I did not know where to begin, and I didn't think it was even possible. And Spotify for Podcasters made it happen. They made it easy. They made it quick. And I am doing something that I love. What more can I ask for? So if you're interested in starting your own show, you can do it. And I highly recommend you give this a try. Download the Spotify for Podcasters app or go to www.spotify.com slash podcasters to get started. Hey, everybody. What's up? Welcome back to another episode of Everything Kratom, the podcast about anything. And everything. Kratom. Great to have you with us on this Friday morning. I feel like these weeks are just blowing by now. Summer, man. Summer. Never lasts as long as you want it to. But we gotta enjoy it and we're still in the beginning parts of summer here still. So, uh, nothing to complain about. So, here we go. Um, today I found this interesting article that's taking a look at yellow horn Kratom. Never tried yellow horn before. I did do an episode on horn kratoms in general, but uh, never tried yellow. But anyway, uh, no, you know, setback there. Just wanted to talk about the article a little bit because I thought that it was an interesting claim, which I've never really heard of before. And I also have never heard of the issue that it's claiming kratom may help. So that's what we're going to look at. This is kind of jumping off of what we were talking about yesterday. And if you listened in yesterday, you'll remember that we looked at some claims by Kratom companies that the FDA has flagged. And the FDA sent warning letters to these four Kratom companies for making claims of what Kratom can do for you and what it can help treat. And this is because there's no approved use by the FDA of using Kratom for treatment of anything and it also is not considered therapeutic so we looked at those claims Uh, a lot of it had to do with uh, you know being able to help with opioid withdrawal symptoms and uh, some of it had to do with like arthritis and helping with the uh, symptoms of rheumatoid arthritis for instance and one of the claims was even made on twitter and the fda sent a warning letter because of that claim made on twitter so if you can make a claim on Twitter and then get flagged by the FDA, I would think that if you publish an article in a newspaper, uh, either online or in print, that you would be able to get in trouble by the FDA that way too. And so far, I don't see that happening. So this is making me wonder, where's the FDA on this one? Now, the title of the article is called, Can Yellow Horn Kratom Tea treat irregular sleep-wake syndrome. And I had never heard of irregular sleep-wake syndrome before. And basically what it is, is that uh, it's basically a disorder that consists of prolonged episodes of insomnia and excessive unrefreshing sleep. So you have these like long periods of time where you're just like not able to sleep. And then you have these like excessive, you know, multiple periods of, of unrefreshing sleep. And uh, it's caused by an uh, irregular sleeping pattern or, you know, doing like heavy exercise at night or uh, being in artificial light uh, and not being in like normal natural lighting most days. Or, you know, there's a few different reasons that they state. But um, but basically it's like an interesting, irregular uh, sleeping issue. And I'm sure that a lot of people have experienced this, at least in a temporary way. But this is really, it seems like, uh, a long, drawn-out issue in one's life where they're just, like, constantly dealing with either not being able to sleep or constantly sleeping and having no refreshing sleep. (laughs) Um, So it's an interesting issue. 
very specific, right? So is the claim, because it ends up talking about how yellow horn kratom tea can potentially treat irregular sleep-wake syndrome. And it's, it's quite the claim because, you know, in this article, they're saying that one of the reasons why it might be helpful is because it's similar to opioids and it can relax you and help you get to sleep. But there's nothing actually specifically about yellow horn kratom in this article. Like, nothing at all. Isn't that weird? And whenever it's talking about kratom being helpful, it's just, you could take the yellow horn out of the sentence and replace it with anything. Like, like there's nothing specifically talking about what yellow horn kratom is. And as I was reading through this, I was like, what the heck? This makes no sense. And then I was so dumb. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't... I'm kind of embarrassed to even do this episode because if anyone looks at the article, they'll notice in a second that the the second paragraph or the, the third sentence, it says, if you want to try this solution, you can easily buy Yellowhorn Kratom at this company. And then I saw that it's also, you know, next to the date of publication, it says sponsored content. So this is a sponsored article. And it's like, I don't think that I'm necessarily like a dumb person, but I feel dumb today. I like read through this article three times. I was like, what, where is it? Where's the information about yellow horn kratom? Like I've never had that before and done an episode on horn kratoms before, but haven't heard anything about yellow horn. And it's like, why isn't there anything specific? And why is this like almost written by a robot or just a copy paste article? By the time I was done reading it, I was just kind of mad. And then I saw that and I was like, why did I just like skip over (laughs) the third sentence of this article? So it's just like, I don't know, it kind of gets me because it's like, where's the FDA on this one? You know, if someone can post a Twitter post saying that people use Kratom to treat some of their symptoms, that it helps some of their symptoms of opioid withdrawal, you sh- you know, if the FDA is saying you can't do that, then why should you be able to sponsor an article in a newspaper that says that specifically this specific type of Kratom can help with this specific type of sleep issue? Like, where are they on this one? Please do tell. <laughs> so I don't know, but I think that that's just really weird. Also, what the heck? I mean, if you're going to talk about Yellowhorn Kratom and you're a vendor, you at least might want to talk about Yellowhorn Kratom. <laughs> There's just no information about Yellowhorn Kratom here at all. So anyway, um, let's, uh, let's leave it there uh, with my befuddled, confused, and embarrassing uh, moment. And hopefully it instills confidence in you for the rest of your day today and your weekend, knowing that you are safe and sound and are not me in this specific embarrassing moment in time. (laughs) Oh boy. All right, let's leave it there. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. And the next time you hear from me, I promise you, you won't be hearing me talk about a sponsored article that is claiming a unique green-white hybrid blend of Horned Kratom can help you, you know, restore your eyesight to 2020 and make your hair orange for two weeks or something. (laughs) Uh, But we'll see. Okay, everybody. Take it easy. Have a great weekend. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.